Yo, what's up, guys? And today we're watching the earliest episodes of South Park. And if you guys want us to binge every single episode of South Park, then you better get this video to 14,267 likes! And check out the Patreon for the uncut commentary with uncensored scenes. And also, exclusive series like Total Drama and Avatar The Last Airbender. And, and subscribe! subscribe. Well, this is when South Park used to be creative, because it's like all stop motion. Like this one actually was like stop motion. It's so yellow, yeah. Well, Trey Parker just pissed on all the frames like by accident. They kind of had to use them afterwards. Go home, you little dildo. Dude, don't call my brother a dildo. What's a dildo? I don't know. Oh my! It feels like I'm watching like a pre-alpha Minecraft let's play right now. <laughs> it's like so archaic in nature. Looks like you didn't get much sleep last night. That's because I was having these bogus nightmares. Bogus? Cartman would never say the word bogus. This is not a real episode. Then I was lying on a table, and these scary aliens wanted to operate on me. Oh, oh. my god! The aliens! I, oh the my visitors, god! The visitors got him! The visitors love Canadian blood, dude. They love Canadian ass. Like everyone should. That's right, Mr. Garrison. Christopher Columbus discovered America. Um, actually, Leif Erikson discovered America. He was the first European to discover America. That's not even a real name. Yes, Mr. Garrison, I have to go now. Oh, really, Kyle? What is it this time? Another prostate tumor? What? They're like eight in this show, motherfucker. They got a prostate tumor? Well, because he's always doing self check. You know what's crazy about this episode? This is like one of the few timeless episodes of South Park. Like, this is not relevant towards current events whatsoever. People get pro by, by visitors like every day. It happened to me yesterday. Yeah, no, I know. I went over to Coors House and yeah. You are Canadian, so I guess you would be an alien. Oh, salad fingers mouth. What the? No, it's like the Grinch. It's a reference to the Grinch. Dude, are you like two years old? Dude, that was clearly a Grinch reference. I'm literally two years old. We watch South Park with its target demographic. Hello there, children. Hey, Chad. How are you doing? Bad. Milk is yummy. What the hell is that picture? That's going on my wall. That's going on my wall. Let me sing you a little song. It might clear things up. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting it to actually be good. And caress your womanly body. I, I love how Chef just teaches these kids the most sus information. The sassy anal probe. That is like a legitimately like a shockingly cute anal probe. Like that is one of the cutest anal probes I've ever seen. That anal probe looks cute enough to be in Word Girl or some PBS show. Today's word is probe. And I know that I am not under alien control. I love to sing a... What? Oh my god. This is fucking beautiful. Look at him. What the hell was that? He is under alien control. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. <laughs> he was hitting it. Why did he turn to Mickey Mouse all of a sudden? Steamboat Cartman chat. It's real. And it's now in the public domain. Dude, fuck yeah. Isn't it crazy that like when we're like 70 years old in our rocking chairs, Cartman is going to be public domain and someone's going to make like a Cartman battle royale game. And South Park will probably still be running. Almost certainly. Give me back my brother. Kenny, you bastard! That was the first they killed Kenny moment. And Stan wasn't even looking, bro. No. Yes, Kenny! <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh, shoot! Whoa, my... I came all the way from Texas. I can smell you from there. Do I smell that bad? I haven't been using cologne lately. I don't know. I don't... The problem is, you don't smell good, which you can do with this little device right here. Scent bird. Oh, we're sponsored by them. Yeah, for just $17, you can get this beautiful fragrance as well as 600 different perfumes to choose from. You'll have the ladies and men tweeting like little birdies. Chirp, chirp. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that works with amazing brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace. These brands that you usually can't afford, but now with this amazing subscription, you can. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can smell good for a whole month. Oh my. God, that smells actually really good. I really like the Confessions of a Rebel Fuck Mondays fragrance that they sent us. I've been using it whenever I go out to fancy dinners or anything like that. Or the Veronique Goodbye Oui de Jour. I can't speak good French. Both of them are really sick. And with coupon code THEMILK, 
you get 55% off your purchase. It's just a little over $7 a month. Available in the USA and Canada. No way. The most beautiful places on the planet. So go try Scentbird. Use our code down below and use the link. Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. These crop circles, when viewed from above, form strange patterns. Do the aliens think Cartman is like the god of this world? I mean, he kind of becomes the god of South Park. He does. He rules this city, bro. You're right, Wendy. Come on, Stan. We have to go get Cartman. Come on, Stan. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. That's such a weird character trait they just get rid of for Stan. That he just vomits it every time he talks to Wendy. Because that's in the movie, too. How come the visitors aren't coming for him? I think we have to signal them somehow. <laughs> The central joke of the very first South Park episode is Cartman farting fire. That shit's fire for him. I'm sick of it! It's completely amateur! Hey! It's happening again! It's creating Whoa. a satellite! That's fucking amazing! They kind of guess Chef's in real life characterization that he believes in aliens. Yeah, the fact that he's such a conspiracy theorist. When, when they were making the show, he's like, please, just put me in the alien episode. I'm begging you. This is the one I need to be in. Maybe they based the character off of the voice actor. Maybe the voice actor based his life after the character. You know what I mean? But I've learned something today that having a little brother is a pretty special thing. <laughs> this is a Family Guy moment. They're zooming in with sincere music. South Park started like Family Guy because this is what Family Guy does every episode. Yeah, but this is just Family Guy, but instead of just having like one slightly dysfunctional family, it's just four entirely fucked up families. Exactly. Moo. Moo. Moo, 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 moo. I, I like listening to the talk and there's something weirdly like pleasant about it. This could be like an ASMR channel, like spe relaxing you in the moo language from South Park. Talking you down from a panic attack in cow. <laughs> and he never showed up again after that. Well, I hope he dies. Ew! Sorry. Hey, look! A french fry! Cool! And what is that? I think it's part of a cheesy poof! How romantic. This is like the most romantic these two characters have ever been. And we've watched like 60 episodes of the show on the channel. Like they just went nowhere with the relationship. What a wholesome end to the episode. Wait, it's not piss color anymore. Yeah, and it's 16 by 9. It's like a normal episode now. Are we watching like a remaster or something? What's going on? That's kind of sad. I was hoping there'd be more, more paper. Ready to go hunting, Carmen? God, this looks like shit. No, I want to go back. I got used to the old art style and I really liked it. You already got used to it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't think eight-year-old kids drink beer. Is this guy in later episodes? I don't remember Jimbo at all. Well, I think the throat cancer probably got to him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, the throat cancer got to me. Hey, I'll blow your freaking head off. Hey, look out, son. That's dangerous. You gotta spill your beer. Oh my god. These are such beautiful role models for these kids. This is just a typical day in the Midwest. Some random men just pick up your kids to go hunting. The Democrats have passed a lot of laws trying to stop us from hunting. Democrats piss me off. Wait, is this the man who radicalized Cartman? Is it all this guy's fault? I think Cartman was radicalized in the womb, dude. Yeah, he went down the alt-right pipeline while he was an embryo. You know how, like, some people play classical music for their baby when they're in the womb? Cartman's parents, they played, like, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Randy! Randy's first appearance. <laughs> What the heck is this? What do you mean, what the heck is- This is your job. What are you talking about? There's a volcano outside of fucking South Park. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about what he's here for. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh my god. A volcano. He doesn't even know why he's here. I can see why he doesn't work here in later episodes. Mayor, the geologist is here to see you. My geologist? Now? Tell him the infection is fine and I don't need another checkup. Is, it, is this they slash them Hillary Clinton? What is that mouth? It looks so creepy. What does this mean to the town? Right now, South Park is here. Wow, what a fucking beautiful song. Why? If they do that one more time, I'm done. Okay. It's a rule of tens, you know. You have to repeat every joke ten times before it's funny. I'm gonna take my kids out hunting and fucking shoot myself if they do that again. Hey, guys. I know a scary story. Shut up, Cartman. You can't scare anybody. That Newgrounds ass animation. This whole thing reminds me of Newgrounds. Half of the Newgrounds animators are probably inspired by watching this show. They're like, this looks like shit. I could probably do this. Because one of his legs is missing. And where his legs should be, there's nothing but Patrick Duffy. 
Topical reference I don't get. Jamie, look it up. Patrick Duffy is an American actor and director widely known for his role on CBS primetime soap opera Dallas. Oh, he's in Dallas. I have never even heard of the show. Oh, you never heard of Dallas? Like Dallas, like I've been to Dallas. Okay, people, let's go get those kids. I feel like this isn't a good idea. I feel like maybe they should have sent like a rescue team of like two people up there. Not the entire population of the town. Okay. They're just gonna get everybody killed. We can divert the lava into a canyon and then it would bypass South Park pretty much completely. Randy is so absurd in every other episode, like appearance I've seen him in. Hearing him like talk normally in a conversation feels so out of character. Cause like before he's like an egotistical kind of piece of shit. But in this one, he's just like, he's just a simpleton. He's there's, he's the one smart adult. The only one that I've seen in this entire show so far. It's blown its top. Oh, that's how Kenny dies. He never stood a chance. What is that thing? Oh what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god! Look at his leg! Hi kids, I'm TV's Patrick Duffy. Oh my god, it's Patrick Duffy! What a fantastic reference. I certainly understand it and find it very humorous. That's Scuzzlebutt! Yeah, he has Patrick Duffy for a leg and weaves baskets. Why does everyone know this? What the fuck? How fucking big of a celebrity was Patrick Duffy in 1998? Dallas was a big show, man. I did it! I finally killed something! Turn off the cameras! That was easy! No! He's like a parasite. He's not part of the same body. Patrick Duffy was a parasite in the Hollywood industry and also in South Park. Oh, so it's like a it's like an analog analogical. Anal it's an anal anatopical analogy. Yeah, exactly. You're always going to be my nephew, and you just can't kill anything. You understand? Wow, that was totally the message of the episode. It's not like he was actually trying to kill everything the entire episode. Dude, I don't understand hunting at all. Yeah, it's stupid. Let's go watch cartoons. Yeah, cartoons kick ass. Yeah, cartoons kick ass. That was the real message. Watch cartoons. Watch more cartoons. Never stop watching cartoons. You ever think about how Cartman, he's a cartoon man? You ever think about that? You ever think about that? I never thought about that. Dude, I love living in the world of 1998. No, I really like 1998 because I was just chilling with all the other sperm cells and my dad's balls. Yeah, that used to be fun. Like when you used to like actually have like brothers and then like you had to like kill all of them to get to the egg. They should make a sperm battle royale game. Yeah, agreed, man. But what if that's what Fall Guys is? They're little sperms all along. We're all little Fall Guys. Oh my goodness, they're all competing to get to the egg and only one can make it. Only one can see the crown of the vagina. What marches in, crawls up your leg, and bites the inside of your Children, children. Those are some very strange sentences written in Spanish on the board. That's all I'm gonna say. What does it say? Translate, translate. Suck my tits, don't touch my balls. Chupe mi chichis. That means suck your tits. Those are the most important phrases. Like, you have to know those if you're going to Mexico. Dolphins are like the second smartest animal on the planet. If they're so damn smart, how come they get caught in those fishing nets all the time? Is there gonna be a dolphin? scene because like that's the only thing i know about dolphins that's the only thing i would want that's the only thing i desire in this world kathy lee gifford and south park another celebrity we have to search up we really should just have like a jamie off screen who looks up every reference for us Catherine lee gifford is a french-born american television presenter singer see i i tuned out when you said they were french i'm not gonna lie hello there children hey chef how are my little crackers today Whoa! Yo. <laughs> that was awesome. Dude, that shit woke me up. When he said crackers, I'm like, okay, this show's good again. Well, because they're talking about you. Yeah, I know. He was he was speaking directly to me, and I felt I felt it. So I didn't realize they could get away with saying slurs in the show. What's he gonna say next? Sis? What? And I was only a child. We could have won that talent show. We could have been huge. Do we really need Mr. Garrison backstory? Ball at 10 is crazy. Looks like we might win. And now, our last talent show finalist, Kathy Lee Epstein. Epstein! Epstein! I mean, of course, like, she's got all the staff there. It's bankrolled by Epstein. Like, she's got all the production values. Can't compete. Yeah, thank God she married her husband, bro, because her maiden name is Epstein. Not defending your little girlfriend for writing about some stupid fish. Dude, 
Dolphins are intelligent and friendly. Dolphins are cool. I don't get like Cartman's hate. Just because they have corkscrew like pieces, like I think he's just jealous. That's that's ducks, isn't it? That's ducks, bro. You got the wrong animal. No, they both have corkscrews. Okay, show me. I've already looked this up. Like I looked this up almost every day, bro. Yeah, you go to his search history, and it's like the last thing. Dolphin, pieces, dolphin, pieces, duck, pieces, dolphin. Why are they the same? Hey, you need to get in shape fast. Want to look your best? Tired of the other guys getting all the chicks? Is this a Logan Paul Prime ad? Just like 23 years. Oh my God. This show is almost 30 years old. And it's still kind of funny. Like that Prime episode was good. I have a nice body and I want to show it off. You got that? What? You've got to weigh 90 pounds. I'm up to 94. Thank you very much. God, he's in like, what, third grade and he weighs 94 pounds? He's so fat. It's an absolute behemoth. Yeah, if you grab him by his head and just pull him out, he'd turn into a normal person. Come on, people. We've got to turn this place around. God, nothing happens in this city. Like a C-tier celebrity shows up and they dedicate the entire city to them. This is the story of South Park. It begins when the noble Indians lived on the land you're not supposed to call them that anymore wait early butters is called poof poof or something so butters didn't get an identity till later butters only became a character in season three we have to wait three seasons for the best character to appear what that sucks do you actually think that kathy lee gifford would enjoy this to hell with kathy lee gifford why can't kathy see an accurate representation of american history she is an american oh i guess she's french actually never mind Whoa, Cartman. Talk about wide load. Oh my god. Cartman, how much does he weigh now? He's more wide than he is tall now. He's become a chode. He's shaped like a 4-3 aspect ratio right now. Well, I like that the supplement, it's not even like muscle gain or bulk up. It's literally just called weight gain. Weight gain. Get fat now. Call 999-999-999. You talking to me? You talking to me? I don't know. It's a little small. Okay, how about this? Guns. Buy one. I'm kind of being convinced right now. That looks like a modern meme. Like, doesn't that look like a shirts that go hard picture? Or an iFunny meme from 2008. That image is evergreen. I don't even know who Kathy Lee is, but like, I'm so ready to see her. Give us a, a insane parody of this woman I don't even know existed. Like, this is sweet. Camera crews are setting up. And I'm looking totally whipped. They, it didn't take long for the inflation. That's not inflation, man. That's just tumors all over the sides of his body. Looks like he's just hiding shit under his shirt. It doesn't even look like fat anymore. It looks like 20 kids in a trench coat. They're trying to get into the movie, but they only bought one ticket. Come on, you little bitch. You've got to come out of your precious bubble sooner or later, Missy. I love watching episodes that are entirely based around referencing a celebrity that I have no knowledge of whatsoever. Maybe she's annoying or something. Like, maybe that's it. Maybe she's just annoying. Let their bodies caress and touch each other in ecstasy. Oh, Kathy Lee. Dude, Kathy Lee's going to get swooned by Chef. Can we just talk about how, like, half the town isn't going to be able to repopulate because they're all going to be half siblings. Chef is impregnating every single woman in this this city and it is going to lead towards serious problems down the line we must finish what we have begun i know that she's hurt you she's hurt a lot of people what has she done maybe okay no this is a meta thing south park is hurting us by repeatedly referencing this person we don't fucking know that's what it is she is hurting us oh someone in chat said she started world war ii oh fuck her dude that's what it was the bitch must die he is literally their teacher for the next 20 years and he murdered one of the kids in his class. Good! Good! Hey! We're back! We didn't even get to do our play! Aww. The wee ah sound effect. No one cares that Kenny died. When do I get to be on television? Forget it, kid. No Kathy Lee, no public interest. He but wouldn't even fit in the aspect ratio. He's like 18 by 12 aspect ratio. Like, yeah, they gotta start filming him in IMAX to get the full quality. What about not holding anything against the person who wins? Well, not if it's Cartman. Bars. That's a very good more. That's Bars. a very good moral for the entire series. Just apply to anything. Not if it's Cartman. What if this was the one thing that put Cartman on his evil arc? This one moment of pure humiliation is what's made him evil for the next 26 years. As God once said, do unto Cartman as Cartman would do unto you. That's that's what you have to follow. We have with us today, live via satellite, Eric Cartman from South Park, who is now so obese. Oh <laughs> my! He's all.
Yes. They need to make a TLC show with this exact premise, but specifically Cartman. My 600 pound son coming soon. He needs to run his ass around the block a few times. He f had Ely Gifford. And if you want to be like Chef, check out our Patreon and leave a like so we watch more South Park. Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, G3 Om, Gov, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.